So the story of Cora's leg starts with getting satellite TV installed in my room. The technician showed up and wanted to drill a hole from the outside wall into my bedroom to run the cable, but I had remembered that there was an existing cable that ran into a little crawl space in the eaves. So I got into the crawl space to trace the wire to find where the other end of it was for the cable guy with uh, nothing to guide me except a cigarette lighter in the darkness. And on my way back out of the crawl space, I came across an object about three and a half feet long wrapped up in a blanket, thinking it may be like an old rifle or an old gun of some kind. I started to unwrap this blanket from around this object with nothing but the benefit of that cigarette lighter in the creepy darkness. And out pops a foot with a shoe in pantyhose. Well, it ended up being a prosthetic leg that belonged to my my great-grandmother, Cora, who died before I was born. I thought it was a, kind of a neat um, possession to have and an oddity. So I, I've hung on to this thing for a few years, and it actually gained itself a little bit of fame because I responded to a radio contest one morning where they were giving away the last pair of tickets to a Alice Cooper and Motley Crue concert, but rather than just giving them away, they wanted to do interesting trades. So as a goof, I called just to see if I could hear myself being broadcast on the radio, and I offered them my great-grandmother's wooden leg for the last pair of Motley Crue and Alice Cooper tickets. And I ended up winning the contest. But because of the history of this object and the sentimental value that it held to me, the captain and Celeste from WBLM let me keep Cora's leg but still granted me the tickets. So not only did I go to the concert, but I also brought Cora's leg along with me to the show and carried her around all night. And it's funny because I was recognized by several people that had heard my offer on BLM. They knew it was me because there's not too many people carrying around a wooden leg at a concert. <laughs> but she uh, rode in style up to Bangor and back in the back seat of my 1973 Lincoln Mark IV. And uh, as far as I know, she had a good time. I know I did.